Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about how to create a slideshow video using the KW Video mobile app. Your first step is to open the mobile app and tap on slideshow at the top of the list. Then you can tap customize to begin. Your first step is to create an intro for your video. You can use business card, video, or animation, or have no intro. In this example, we'll do business card. When you tap business card, you'll see you can change your photo or background image as well as the text on the screen just by tapping and typing using your keyboard or toggling left and right with the arrows. When you're ready, hit continue. And you'll notice you also can record a voiceover underneath your business card. To do that, simply hit record and begin speaking into your mobile device microphone. Hi, this is JP with Keller Williams Realty. You can re-record this or listen to it, and when you're ready, hit continue. To make your slideshow video, you're gonna combine pictures and video clips using this plus symbol here on the screen. When you tap it, you'll see you can take pictures or video clips using your device, or you can select ones that you already have saved to your mobile device. In this case, I'm going to select some pictures first. I'm going to go to my camera roll, and then I'm simply going to select the photos that I want to use in this slideshow video. For this example, we're making a community tour of a neighborhood here in Austin, Texas. I'll tap all the pictures that relate to that video. When you tap done, you'll see all the pictures auto-populate into the mobile app. And I can also go back for additional pictures or video clips. In this case, I'm going to select a couple of video clips I have on this device as well. I'll go to videos. And you can see I have a shot of the basketball court in that area. I'm going to choose that one. And then go back one more time for another video of the park. Now that I have my pictures and video clips ready to go, I can simply tap each picture and video clip so that it shows up in a particular order in my slideshow. You'll notice the numbers show up in the top right corner to indicate the order in which the pictures and video clips will show up. If you need to edit any of these photos, simply tap the slider to show edit, and then you can pick any picture you want and change the scaling or size of that picture using your fingers. When you're ready, just hit save. Now you can hit continue to move to the next step in the process. Here you'll be able to record your voiceover underneath your slideshow video. Simply tap OK, and then you'll notice a record button in the bottom left hand corner. When you're ready, hit record and start telling the story of this video. You can advance to the next picture or video clip by tapping the picture in the bottom right hand corner as you see on the screen here. Let's show a quick example. Welcome to Travis Country, one of the most beautiful and popular neighborhoods here in central Austin. You'll notice throughout this neighborhood we have very well-established homes from the late 70s and early 80s with beautiful trees and oversized lots, and so on and so on. You'll see that I'm just simply tapping each picture to advance as I talk about this neighborhood, and of course I can highlight different features and benefits. The video clips give you a nice countdown, and of course you can mix video and pictures together. When you're done, simply hit the stop button and now you can decide which type of transition you want between your pictures. And now you can create an outro for your video. Again, we can use business card, video, animation, or none. In this example, I'll just wrap up with a business card and remind the viewer of my contact information. And again, you can record a voiceover for the outgoing message of your video. When you're ready, hit continue, and you can finish up with the other advanced features of the slideshow video. You can do logos, banners, you can also choose background music or no background music if you prefer. You can hit continue and also adjust the volume and music level. And of course, change the title and description and then create your video. All the elements are mixed together and uploaded as a single video to your KW Video account. When you see the Gary Keller happy face, you can hit continue and it'll go back to the home screen. When you're ready to watch your video, only a few minutes later, tap the library books at the top of your app, hit the refresh library button if you need to, and you'll see that your new video is being created. Thanks again for watching. If you need any help, email us anytime at support at kwvideo.com.